Disclaimer, this product was provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. To have your product reviewed, visit bit.ly slash review my product. Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Kazim from dragonblogger.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to install the Noctua NH-C14S CPU cooler onto your motherboard. This tutorial is for LGA11 5X series chipset, so the AMD and LGA2011 chipset follow similar methods. Also, the motherboard on the box is not the same as mentioned on the box. I'm using the SSZ170P motherboard for this tutorial. So first, let's go through the parts you're going to need for the installation. So you're going to need these four risers, these four screws, the intel brackets and the backplate, the fan mounts for another fan, it's optional, some thermal compound, and TH1 is provided with the cooler, the L-shaped Phillips screwdriver and another fan if you're going to mount it on the CPU cooler itself and of course a compatible motherboard. So I'm going to move all this stuff aside and break the motherboard near me. Notice that I've pre-installed the CPU onto the motherboard. That should be our very first step. Now pick up the back plate and install it on the back of the motherboard. See this dual and a single screw ends here? There's holes for that on the back plate. So that's how you know the uh, so that's how you know the position of how to install the back plate. You can also do this a step when your motherboard is installed in a chassis if there's a cut for the back plate. Next you're going to install these riser onto the back plate screws. That's done. Now you're going to install the brackets for the CPU cooler. Make sure that these ends are facing outwards and this is facing upwards. You can install it like this so the heat pipes are facing the PCI slot or the top. Now install these on the four ends of the screws and tighten it up with the L-shaped Phillips screwdriver provided with the CPU cooler. So now we're done with the bracket installation, what you're going to need to do is prepare the cooler. Notice these two openings on the heatsink, that's how we're going to tighten the screws on the base plate. But before that we need to remove the pre-installed fan. To do that, just pull these mounts a bit and it'll loosen up. And that's your fan out. So now we can go ahead and install the cooler onto motherboard. We can install it like this or this. The choice is yours. If we install the brackets on this position, then we would have been able to install the cooler like this or the other direction. But right now we're going to install the cooler like this. And before this step, you're going to need to install the thermal compound of your choice. I'm not going to do that as I'll be removing the CPU cooler for another video right now. So I'll be wasting it but make sure to install the thermal compound before installing the CPU cooler on the board. Now just go ahead, place it over the CPU, align the bracket screws and the housing on the base plate like this and use your L-shaped Phillips screwdriver to tighten it up. And that's done. Now all that's left is to install the fans. Before that, you also need to decide which way the cable is going and the direction for the flow. I'm just gonna snap it in like that. Place the other one above. Pick up these fan mounts.
inside it and the holes on each corner same for the other end and snap it in like that and that's your Noctua and a C14S installation done with dual fans it's sturdy enough that you can pick up the board like that so I wouldn't recommend it if the GPU is installed on the board so that's how the C14S looks like once installed here's how much clearance we have for the PCI slot and here's the clearance for the RAM slot it's covering the nearest slot to the socket let me go ahead and install a medium sized RAM and see how it looks like this is the Epizer Panther Rage RAM that I'll also be reviewing shortly so that's how it looks like almost touching the fan which means there shouldn't be any trouble with a low profile RAM even in this configuration so that's about it I guess let me know if you got any questions in the comment section below I'll be back again with more videos soon I'm with Kazim out